look around at your sisters. This is heart, this is spirit. Bring the head and gut, we cannot win without these. But you've got all these things now to be able to, to combat them. I've been here for about a week now, so it's been really nice to get um, over our jet lag, get really familiar with um, our surroundings, but also get our training to the intensity that we need ready for the first game. Oh, what a spectacle this promises to be. Australia versus Zimbabwe preliminary stage game. Such a strong start already from Australia. Eva bringing up the spice of is Matura. Bruce getting her hand to absolutely everything. It's whether it's a low ball, a high ball, or even attacking the pass. The end of the second quarter as we go into the half. It is Australia starting to cement their dominance. What a beautiful tip there from Bravel. I've been really pleased with the ball speed and I guess I've got real confidence in letting the ball go. Weston coming through on that centre pass. The Diamonds have not let off from start to the finish. Excellent performance from the entire team. I think to get this start was awesome to have everyone out there on court, get that experience, get that feel of a World Cup. proud of what you've been able to achieve but we're also in awe of your skill set that you bring your leadership that you bring to this group and um it's a privilege to be alongside you on uh, on 50 games so. so again it's it's our responsibility it's your decision and it's your mindset that actually gets that commitment to go and get the job done it's our chance to put our brand out there, but again, it's not to show anyone else that we're good enough or to, I guess, put fear in anyone. It's actually to take pride that every time you step out there, the Diamonds brand is at the standard that we can do and better than the last performance. Terrific start for Tonga Veve straight in with the first intercept. There was a bit of flair in that shot from Austin. That was beautiful. Oh, gee, strong take in the air by Conan. With a pass oh. from her and then over the head from Katu Ibaiti. Steph Wood as she steps onto the court for test number 50 for Australia. Think, you know, it wasn't exactly our brand at the beginning, but full credit to Tonga. They put us under that physical presence and, you know, they really let the ball go. And a little gear has shifted for the Diamonds here. Penalty shot after the siren taken by Sophie Garvin. And Australia with a victory on day two over Tonga. Get another opportunity to fine tune as we slowly progress through this tournament. Okay, so make sure you 100% know what you've said you're going to do and what are the actual actions behind those words that you just put on that piece of paper. Okay, let's go get Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> hey Australia. Day three of action and the Aussies taking on Contact, Fiji. Contact. Direct, isn't it, from the Aussies. And there's Jamie Lee Price for... High ball, high release. Confidence from Watson off the circle edge. So Fiji can finish here with one of their best passages of play. Conan, and for the first century of the games for the Diamonds, siren blows and the team in yellow victorious once again. <laughs> How proud of you, it's of me are you? Extremely proud. I guess uh, two years ago when she did her knee and um, was able to come back from that, do the Com Games, and then this year uh, come for the World Cup. Uh, yeah, no, very proud. 
Uh, yeah, I'm really proud of Jo. She works so hard and uh, just keeping her body in good shape is uh, uh, just a constant um, oh battle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can we take that? No, that's true. I'm old now, so it's fine. <laughs> All of the Australian contingent have kind of been gathering. A few of us are in a hotel as well, so we've been managing to have some drinks before and after games. So it's been lots of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the highlight for me. It's, it's the best thing an athlete can ask for. I feel like um, having a really strong support network really helps get you far um, in your career, but to have them here for the big moments and the, the tournaments and the pinnacle events along the way really does mean the world. Good luck to you, Kip. Thanks. <laughs> yep, for the finals. Thank you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> We're now into fourth game, fourth day, early morning. We said we would be able to produce our way of playing any day, any time against any opposition. Today, again, is no different. This time next week, we're done. It's finished. So it is. it seems like we've got a bit to go, but in reality, it's a week. Okay, We own what we do. It is all about us. And we go out there and we make sure we respect Scotland and we produce the best brand that we've had in this competition today. All right, let's go and get it done. And Australia taking on Scotland. Going back to Nicol and then hunting down is Jamie Lee Price. One. Oh, gee, except when you've got Courtney Bruce. Oh, quick offload Lizzie Watson like she had the ball on a string to Sophie Garbutt. We are delayed, we're not doing the work beforehand. Um, we're being, we're, we're threading balls. Here's our reset off the line. Okay, we've got to be better than that. The improvement on Ashley Brazel comes up with it. Look at the speed from Brazel to Price. Now Lizzie Watson with a little bit of flair to finish off. Said though, still a very impressive performance. The Diamonds with their fourth win of this tournament. We are building, ready to unleash. Okay, so this is one again. As I said, it's. It's spontaneous out there. You don't know exactly what you're going to get, but we've got all the tools to be able to do it. But it starts with the actual fundamentals of our attacking movement. Okay. All right. Let's go and have a good game. Because there is an enormous game about to unfold on day five. Slick from the diamonds. Yeah, I love it. Sitting up, right? The pink structure around that circle. Now had a look. Liz Watson put under enormous pressure. Oh, Malawi hit the front here in the second quarter. What an enormous quarter from Malawi. And the halftime score all tied up at 28 apiece. Look, Malawi doing a really great job. They're, we knew they were going to be a really tough opponent and they play a little bit unorthodox, but we've just got to adjust. So the transition, good vision down. Ashley Brazel there to spoil the day, though. Oh, straight into the hands of Jamie Lee Price. Oh, great baseline drive by Steph Wood. Oh, the singing started, hasn't it? Oh, Dumbo, well, she saw that it was on, but couldn't get enough height off the pass. Joe Weston there to spoil the day. And Kira Austin will slot in the final goal of the game. And after some early pressure on the Diamonds, they come through with the goods in the end. Their fifth victory. So that is as simple as it gets with our attack. And you just got to do it together. Defence is even simpler. <laughs> Defence is even simpler. You guys know this. Here and here, you know what you need to do. This is your game plan at the end, end of the day. These are your words, your choice if you're going to do this for 60 minutes. Okay? High performance sport isn't about perfection. High performance sport is about embracing challenges and we've got our battles. First meetings matter. Okay? This starts from the very first whistle. Okay? It's not about the build. It is about the presence. It's about the brand dominance from the very beginning. This is the first step of the hard work. We pride ourselves on hard work. So let's go and go and execute our game plan. There is an absolute sense of excitement in the air, folks, as the fans flood in because they are here. 
to see Australia and England go to battle. I cannot wait for this contest. I think it's a real test that both teams need to see exactly where they're at in this tournament. Australia, well, great vision. Top of the circle. Conan in the back space. That's nice and easy. Well, what a start here by the Roses. Playing with absolute belief. Oh, great injection into the game. Okay, well done. So, Brazzy is saying we've denied goal attack with attack connection. All right, so that's what we wanted to do. Well, very high, and then the no ball. So, eventually, the defensive pressure pays off for the Aussies. Shooter to shooter, G had to be pinpoint perfect. Oh, G Cloud comes through. Wow, what an impact Sarah Cloud's had since coming on. Conan again. Well, she's come to life this quarter, Kara Conan. And as we set up at halftime, the Diamonds have found their way to the front, 32 to 26. Oh, I love it. You know, these are the games we want to play and. England are a dominant side and you can see Hardwell and Helen in there just working their magic. Well, momentum now with the team in red. And England have done the work to set this game up in the final quarter. Well, shot. great shot for Kira Austin to step on under the pressure. Oh, gee, and the little tap from Joe Weston off the foot of Helen Housby. And we're all tied up again. Clutch shooting from Kira Austin. She ends with the ball. She goes the long shot. The noise is raising the game. The England Roses fight their way back and they victory over Australia. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. I guess you always knew you were going to have to face either New Zealand or Jamaica in these crossovers. Did it really matter which one? No, absolutely not. I think, you know, you've got to be able to beat anybody and at some point you, you'd probably face off. So um, for us, it's about, you know, taking the learnings from today. Um, nothing is lost yet. Like that's the that's the mentality. Like everything now starts on the weekend. How are the players, you're saying, like, you know, nothing's lost yet, but how's the mindset of the players obviously going into this match is really fine? Yeah, I think, one, it's not unfamiliar to us. I think we were here in com games. We had a loss and certainly you never want one, um, but you've got to be able to take learnings from it and it's what you do with those learnings. And I guess that's where they're really focused. That's where the you know the, the, the coaches and the support staff will do the hard work. And, you know, we, we walk forward to that challenge. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> no. no, definitely not destroyed. I think, you know, this is what um, what our championships are, are like. It's the, Everything is on this game. Um, so uh, it's, it's going to be pressure there regardless. Uh, and, you know, all is forgotten if you get these wins and you, you make that final. So that's what we're, we're embracing. That's what we're stepping towards. And, um, yeah, we're, I, the girls are pretty excited. They, they like their backs up against the wall. They'll come in as the underdog if we need to be. And um, we'll just work really hard. about you but this is why you play high performance sport this is the privilege of stepping into this environment is to go into big games like this the best thing about being in team sport you are not out there alone you are out there for each other and you bring your best skill set to combine with the people around you to create this unbelievable force today we play with our Aussie spirit we roll the we roll our sleeves up and we get the job done we play the moment, we're in the moment, and we execute the moment. As simple as that. Right, we came together as a group, the start of a new era for the Diamonds in January 2021. Piece by piece, session by session, meeting by meeting, and game by game, we started to create something special and unique. This is our time now. We have strived all along to be connected. We play to our strengths. Our strengths are unparalleled. We are even stronger when we are united. This is unfinished business. This is us together, sisters in arms. This is the diamond's way. This is the Aussie spirit. This is what the dress means. Look at your young picture on the banner and what the young girl dream was. We walk out today, we turn up 
and we climb Hillary's step, the step to how we will transform the Diamonds Way and be our best. Me for we turn up. Sisters on three! One, two, three, sisters! And the whistle goes, and we are all guns blazing here in Cape Town. Solid start for the Diamonds. The Jamaican defence is all over them. Oh, Terrific ball. Awesome. Oh, to Neil Fowler. What a take in the air that was. It's a little bit of ball speed here for the Diamonds. That's what they like. And then the clever shooter to shooter, but Shamira Sterling chases down. Well, that is nothing short of absolute brilliance. Once again, we are all tied up. 29 goals apiece. And what an entertaining game of international netball unfolding here in Cape Town. And what a run here for the Diamonds. The Dean Thomas, easy in. Courtney Bruce does what Bruce does best. Great feed, Khadijah Williams. She's come into her own. Fowler to level the game and bring the crowd alive. Pass into Wood. The finish for the Diamonds is there from Wood. So a couple back for the Australian Diamonds and they level the score. Bruce in front for Step Wood to put Australia into the grand final. That was an exceptional effort out on court. It took the full 60 minutes to get the job done and it took everyone in whatever role you were asked to play for today. So. That was extreme pressure and the way in which we built it and kept attacking it. There's a difference between playing safe and playing controlled and attacking your opposition. We learnt today how to attack an opposition with control. So well done. Happy game day. We've made it. We're where we wanted to be. We wanted to be in a World Cup grand final, which is a massive achievement in itself. But as we've said before, we didn't come here to come second. We've got unfinished business and we've certainly got unfinished business against England. So you've got everything there. It's your ability to connect in a moment and make the decision and go with it with full intensity. Every play, every minute for 60 minutes, each and every one of you commit to those defensive behaviours and we build the pressure and the turnovers will come. We can see the top but there is still an obstacle to overcome. You've earned the right to be in a World Cup final with the dream of being transformational. I have three words for this moment. Head. Our head is the clarity we need to bring to be England. Our tactics, our strategy, our diamonds way. Gut. The gut is what is needed for 60 minutes. To hold our nerve, to have courage when the foot is on their throat, to push harder or to fight back. The heart is the free spirit. We play for the love of the game. The young girl with dreams, and now we play for the heart in all of us. I am calling on you all to play for us, sisters in arms and your young self. The love of your teammates and the occasion. Look around at your sisters. This is heart, this is spirit. Bring the head and gut, we cannot win without these. Let's go and get a job done. Yeah. This is all three! One, two, three, sisters! Australia will face it off in the grand finale to find out who will become the champions of the 2023 World Cup. Solid shot there by Steph Wood. Oh, look at that. Superb piece of play from England in response. They're really starting to find their groove here, Australia. What a superb piece of play. Good defensive pressure from the Diamonds. Such a fabulous job, Imogen Allison. Joe Weston coming through. To be honest, we haven't probably changed style. We're just trying to execute what we're good at. And I guess, you know, it's a tight tussle out there. There's a lot of bodies. Um, and we're just going to try and keep in the line of the ball at the moment. Oh, this is good pressure as well, being exerted by the Roses at the moment. 
Only two goals Ooh. separating these two teams. Hardwell, who absolutely does a fantastic job and adds one more goal to the scoreboard of the Roses as we enter the halfway mark. That was a great feed by Metcalf to house me under the post. Sarah Cloud did the job the other day, and she gets a tip straight away. Oh, that's fantastic. Pop back off. Oh, the one, oh, two. Walks it to right. Austin. Confident to release it to Garvin. Courtney Bruce comes out flying. Time is running out here for the Roses. You can look at that bench. They are up. They are cheering. They are loving this. Brilliant stuff. The Diamonds have done it. They are the world champions. This was the only one missing, and what a fantastic performance it has been. I just think the, the strength of this group, we're so connected. We've been working so hard for two, two years, you know. Our, our 15 girls that are here, the rest of the squad that's back home, I really hope they all feel a part of this gold medal because it's taken a huge effort for us to be here. Just so proud of the girls. They all came out. That was like a collective effort. Um, just, you know, England were classy. They were hard. We had to be at our best. I'm just so proud of the girls because, like, it's taken all 12 of us to get here. The squad, the 22, all of us, and the fact that we're standing here, world champions. Well, I couldn't have asked for a better ending. It was unfinished business, but the job has been done.